In some situations, we have to insert the implants with angulation when bone volume is insufficient. Studies in the last decade showed that mesiodistally angulated implants did not reveal biomechanical complications or problems related with marginal bone status. However, the angle of the implant may cause the restoration screw hole to be placed in an undesired position when screw retained fixed partial dentures are applied. Furthermore, we may hardly find a region to place the implant's hex driver. The solution is to prefer angulated multi-abutment to make the screw access hole parallel to the implant instead of going for cemented restorations. By this way, the screw hole can be easily placed at the occlusal area. For this purpose, a multi-abutment compatible with the implant angle should be chosen. In other words, if the implant is placed at a 15 to 20 degrees mesiodistally, a 15 degrees multi-abutment is sufficient. Two different screw holes are present for the multi-unit screw and the suprastructure screw in angulated multi-units. The multi-abutment screw hole is parallel to the implant, while the suprastructure screw hole is parallel to the implant and also in the occlusal direction. After choosing the ideally angulated multi-abutments and torquing them on the implants, the suprastructure screw holes are now parallel to each other and we may continue with impression making. For all screw retained fixed partial dentures, open tray and splinted implant impression making is necessary. As such, after fixing the sterile multi-abutments intraorally for preventing their further removal, open tray impression posts at the abutment level should be used. In order to open adequate amount of screw holes on the impression tray, a layer of wax is placed inside and pressed on the post screws to make their prints. 2 mm diameter holes are opened on these prints. Then the posts are splinted to each other by a resin with the dipping method and impression making is completed by using a silicone impression material.